Good morning, everybody. Fabrinina here, and welcome back to We Deleted You, the animatic by the Mass Chris version. So it's been a while, honestly. The last time we left off, we had a good closing. We're basically Etelet found internal peace, supposedly. But it turns out there's a whole nother story that we have not heard from before. Now we're gonna go ahead and hear from Austin's point of view. And I, if, 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 if I'm going by the spoilers of what you guys said to me, I can only believe this is where Etelet truly becomes the villain. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we deleted you, Corrupted Data Revived. So today we're just gonna go ahead and do Corrupted Data 1, and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and wrap everything up and do Corrupted Data 2. So let's just jump right in and get this. Ah, uh, like I'm, I'm actually really excited for this, really hyped for this because I was really curious about Austin. Like as soon as he popped up, he did not like Etelad. <laughs> so we don't know where he came from and why he doesn't like Etelad. I Etelaid, love this so. world. The land, the trees, the lakes, the mountains, all so rich and pure. Okay. It put me at ease. I think we're but already unfortunately, getting into Austin. There was always one thing that hindered me from truly enjoying it. Oh, what's that? The people. <laughs> the people? <laughs> Billions of people chopping uh, the trees down, I throwing their trash in the lakes, and replacing the land with their air polluting cities. Yeah. When I was younger, I would stare out the window and I would think to myself, if only this there wasn't no world. people. It felt like it was all made for me. Introducing and that all Austin. these entitled businessmen, lawmakers, and presidents had to ruin it. It would make me so angry that sometimes I'd clench my fists while in public. I wanted to punch the faces of everyone around me for bringing all this bullshit into my world. Goodness gracious. It wasn't fair. But of course, nobody understood how I felt. I was ostracized for feeling this way punished for feeling this way and mocked for feeling this way oh god i never Austin. had a single friend in my life i mean this guy's over here going around straight up saying hey i hate people if only people didn't exist on earth this is my world yada 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 yuda and he's over here also in the same breath wondering huh i wonder why i don't got any friends i remember in fourth grade i was yelled at by the teacher to get out of her classroom I can't remember what it was I did to piss her off, this guy. but that wasn't important to me. What was important to me was the fact that she said her classroom. I knew it. But I in actuality, it. it was her classroom on my land, so I skip this <laughs> Okay, okay, right off the bat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this Austin guy. I was coming into this expecting 100% to be on this guy's side, to start hating Etelin, to be like, oh my gosh, like... <laughs> No, we started off with this guy saying, my land, this is my area that you guys live in. Like, get this guy, what? Okay. I stood up from my desk and shouted, it's your classroom on my land because this is my world. This guy. The entire class laughed and the teacher gave me an angry look. I stormed out of the classroom. Oh, tears. That wasn't the only thing though. I got into fist fights, shouting matches, and much more. Because these people are on my your land. sent me from therapist to therapist, all of which were trying to change the way I thought about this world. I was constantly labeled as a sociopath, and I was alienated socially. I wonder why he thinks that, though. I was so pissed off. I just wished every other human would just drop dead so I could live peacefully. Goodness gracious, Austin. However, there was one thing the other people made that I can say I was somewhat thankful for. What? Video games. Games? Yeah. <laughs> I said a little bit too late, but I thought the same thing. I wonder how he got into Wii. Did he get there before or after? I remember it was a Questions. year 1987, Questions. on the day of my seventh birthday. Goodness gracious. I received a Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES for short. Dang, that's so long ago. I enjoyed playing the games on that system, so I got the SNES when it came out in 1990, and then the Nintendo 64 in 1996, and so on. Oh, nice. It was with these systems that I realized what I wanted to do for the remainder of my life. Gonna work at Nintendo? Video games. Oh yeah. Well yeah. I can create thing. a video game and finally get the respect that I deserved. No teachers telling me what I can and can't do in my world, and no doctors labeling me as a sociopath. You know that does work. That does work. Actually. As I grew older, I learned what the development of a video game would require. Lots of coding, lots of designing, good gameplay, a decent plot, and among other things. Yeah, a lot of things, basically. My first concept for a game was called Reclamation. The plot revolved around a king who had to reclaim his kingdom from the citizens who've taken over it against his wishes. Oh, huh, that sounds like an interesting He'd game. He'd have to traverse through the land, fighting the citizens and punishing them for their crimes. Kind of like Super Mario Bros. Hmm. 
I started to practice coding in 1997. I mainly worked with C++ I and I got better and better until I was able to create a very rough prototype of reclamation. I never was able to go past that one prototype though, as I wasn't good at creating art for the game, and I wasn't able to find anybody willing to help me. Oh. Since I couldn't finish the game by myself, I decided that instead of trying to finish the game alone, I would work for a company that makes games instead. Nintendo! So in the fall of 2003, <laughs> five years after I finished high school, I officially started my first year of college at the DigiPen Institute of Technology at Redmond, Washington. Cool. That was where I pursued a bachelor's and a master's degree in programming and computer science. Hey, I used to do computer science. <laughs> what happened to that, Nina? I don't know. I, I can't tell you. Anyways, I had always been a grade A student. School had always been easy for me, and it became the same case with college. It resulted in me in having a lot of free time. Meanwhile, for what I've seen, other people would hang out with their friends or focus on hobbies in their free time. But he got no friends! Honestly, it's such a waste of time. I preferred to spend my free time studying. Mm. I'd study a lot about the subjects I saw in my classes. That's probably why I he's saw so a lot smart, of subjects, honestly. Apart from the usual coding and development courses, I also studied science, math, etc. In one of my science courses, we were learning about electricity, and they used to assign a ton of homework. One day I was in my dorm room doing some of that homework about advanced electricity uses. Then I got a little stuck at one of the questions. So I got on my computer to try to figure out the Ooh, answer. Electricity, like what he was trying to do with um, Etelet, like then, electro while I was shot therapy. The web, I stumbled across something that caught my eye. It was a procedure called electroshock therapy. I literally, oh my gosh. Sure. Nina, the procedure you're onto was used something. On people who had mental health conditions. In short, it was used on people who didn't require such harsh procedures. Huh. It worked by running electric currents directly into the brain. When it was used by people who experienced it and well trained, it could change lives for the better. Oh, wow. But if it was misused, it had some severe backlashes. Misuse of ECT could lead to big amounts of pain for the patient. Another like Etelid? Memory loss. Oh, gosh, and memory loss. In most loss. cases, memory loss was not permanent. For some, however, the lost memories were never returned. Oh, gosh. I don't know why, but for some reason, I was fascinated by this Ooh. electroshock therapy <laughs> procedure. Like, this this, this could be helpful in the future. This can definitely really be helpful. Interesting to me. Goodness gracious. Why was he so interested in that, though? Like, like he's interested in making his own game and stuff, so I don't understand how some that part passed, fascinated him. And closer him. to the end of a semester... One of my computer science teachers mentioned that local internships were opening up. Nintendo! Internships in game development, <laughs> software development, etc. After class, my teacher called me in, and he recommended me to apply for an internship at Nintendo uh, because their offices were near the university. I work at Nintendo. I he feel like that would be fun. He told me give me a letter of recommendation since I was one of the best students in the class. Hey, teacher looking out. After some heavy consideration between Nintendo and other choices, I remembered all the good times I had with Nintendo products when I was younger, and it inspired me to choose to apply at Nintendo. I knew that Nintendo was working on the Revolution console, the one that was going to be renamed to Nintendo Wii later that year. Oh. I submitted my application a couple of days before the deadline and waited. Some weeks after that, I got a call for an interview. I tried my best to seem like a good person in the interview. Luckily for me, at the end of the interview, I was given the job right on the spot. Oh, nice! I was surprisingly very happy that I got the internship. I was like, going to work for the company very that created my childhood. Skills. The company that helped me see that humanity was maybe not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, you're a human too. But, you know, yeah, he's probably better than most humans, you know? I finally started my first day at summer internship at Nintendo on May 26, 2006. Some weeks away from when the official name for the console was revealed, titled as the Nintendo Wii. Hmm. The campus was divided into many departments, game development, OS, hardware, etc. I wanted to work on game development, but I was assigned to the software development department, which was a crew that was working on the main OS of the Wii. Oh. I didn't mind it honestly, although I hoped I could be reassigned at the game development department sooner or later. You could probably I was like request a, warm a transfer by the employees. They showed a lot of enthusiasm towards me, the new employee. I didn't like the attention honestly, but I tried to hide it and showed a bright personality like I usually do. Well, you try to be an extrovert when My you're team an introvert. Was working on the OS of the Wii. That's me. Mainly the Wii menu and settings menu, since a quantity of main features of the Wii was already done at the time. 
Honestly, my work wasn't challenging. I felt like they were assigning me the easy task since I was just the intern. But that was only for the first few weeks. When I showed my abilities that I could get my work done quickly with quality, I was starting to be assigned more of the complex work. Ooh, you're doing too much, the my guy. My department was named Todd. He, he looks so happy. Fond of me since I showed a lot of enthusiasm and devotion to my work. Well, yeah. My coworkers always told me that hey. he referred to me as the greatest intern he has had, or something like that. That is, um, what is his name? Kyle's dad? Or no, that's Kyle's dad's friend. I'm pretty sure that's Kyle's dad's friend. Okay. I mean, unless, unless you know, they all got the same look to them for a background character. But I don't think that's coincidental. But I thought that was creepy, honestly. Being known Although as everything the best? seemed to have been all butterflies and rainbows while I was working, I always somehow had that feeling that someone or something was watching me from afar. Oh gosh. But I didn't know what or who. Don't tell me it was like Henry. He was back in the day, he was actually a creep or something. Some weeks later, July 10th to be specific. I was drinking some coffee in the break room. Best answer. He really got a mug. He really got a mug. College. Reclamation. The concept was still lingering in my head after all this time. It still seemed like a good concept for a game. And a bright idea came to my mind. Ding, ding, ding. What's the idea? So, since I knew my manager, Todd, clearly considered me as a good employee, I thought I could use my privileges for my good reputation to get my manager to do something. I had the great idea to pitch my game to him, so he could submit it to the higher-ups in the company. Huh. With excitement, I quickly finished my coffee and ran to log onto my computer to write the pitch document. But while I was writing the documents, I quickly became a bit... tired. But I didn't let that distract me. I wrote the documents, printed them, and went on my way to the manager's office. When I was walking with the documents in hand, I still felt exhausted. Why? I felt like I was about to fall asleep. Was there something in his coffee or something? Second. I thought, maybe I just need another cup of coffee. What? Because you literally just drink some coffee. The manager's office was through the server room, the server that stores every important document from Nintendo of America. I thought that if I took a shortcut from there, I could stop by a different break room right before going to the manager's office to get some coffee. The Why server is it so room was shady? Big, with multiple server machines perfectly ordered, so they made multiple hallways of server machines. It could be a maze if it wasn't so organized, to be honest. There was a door to the end of the hallway, which leads to the other side of the office where my manager's room is located. I was still feeling exhausted and seriously sick from it. Where's this coming from? I was halfway through the server room, leaning myself on one of the server machines. Then, I slowly collapsed on the floor. That, were you drugged or something? Was something in your coffee? Oh, that's the only that's the only explanation I can think of, honestly. Then I woke up. How long was I out for? But what I knew was I was extremely uncomfortable. Then were you I tied up? I was tied to a chair with. So I kidnapped this guy. And my arms tied behind the chair. Wow, who did it? Still in the server Henry? Room, but the lights were was off. it Henry? I could just barely see it was the server room as the lights from the server machines were still on. And then, out of the darkness, I saw a shadowy figure. That looks like it could this be Henry, actually. Was holding an axe. It approached me and said, "So you're finally awake, huh?" Wow. I didn't recognize this voice, what is he doing that for? To think about it. Since the shadow showed himself right after. When I could finally make out who it was, I didn't recognize him either. It was Henry, I bet. It is! Greetings, Austin. It is! My name is Henry, My... he said. What? This guy was dressed mostly in black. He had gloves on, and he had noticeable messy hair. The bastard looked like he didn't take care what of his appearance at all. What is he doing? Why is he doing I this? I tried to scream out for help, but my voice what? didn't come out of my mouth. I was scared shitless. So this is and where this is where he starts covered. becoming a villain in your head. I see. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, let's get right to business. As he said that, he swung his fire. At Why? Me. Why? The impact, Why? Right from my Why? I suddenly felt an indescribable amount of pain. Oh my god! Itching down to my legs. My voice went dry. So this, I couldn't scream from my pain. This is why we don't like it to let. I, I see. Finally opened okay. My eyes and looked up at Henry. The bastard was looking down at me with a smug face. Wow. You see, Austin, you went up the ranks so fast. It was unbelievable, really, he said. 
Are I've you been jealous? I've been in this company for far longer than you. Wow. Working hard. Who cares? I hope that I could be praised for my hard work around here. Work harder then. Wow. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I was in too much pain to want to pay attention to him. Wow, that guy's a bum. What? I. This is this. I, I admit, guess this is why we don't I like him. I got a bit <laughs> envious, but who wouldn't be? Wow. But now that I've got you all to myself, my spite will be pleasing. Henry continued. You suck. I looked beside Henry, noticing that the documents of my game proposition were still on the floor. We're gonna steal his game Henry idea then too. Picks them up off the floor and reads them for a bit. Let's tear it up. Reclamation, huh? He said while looking at my documents. Can't have this going around now, can we? Your work may be praised by the people around us, but deep down, you know it's nothing but trash, just like you. Where, where is this coming then, from? Henry rips my folder my hat gosh. and threw them in a nearby trash can. Like, I, wait, is this just jealousy? <laughs> Feeling stale much, huh? Wonder how that happened. Maybe your drink tasted a little off today. Oh my he gosh, said, this while he guy had a sucks. smug look on his face. This guy sucks. And I looked now up I at him why. in the face. We stared at each other for a couple seconds. Now I see while why. I thought, did this fucker drug my coffee? Did he? What a dirty tactic. He probably did. Freaking oh, bum. Austin, if only I could have a little more time to play with you. Oh you my see, gosh. you weren't meant to last long here in this company. See you on the other side, old friend. Then Henry took his. Is he really about to kill this guy? No. Swing. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done. I freaking they like we like how long has it been now? How am I, it's been two hours, two hours, 14 minutes, guys, two hours and 14 minutes of me watching this. We deleted you and I've been feeling bad for this excellent guy. I've been feeling so bad for this guy. And then we get to corrupted data at the very end, at the very end, two hours into this and I just feel regret just supporting this guy. Regret for supporting him. I'm just, I'm, oh my gosh, let's continue. I, oh my gosh, I don't, I, I don't know what to think now. Like, no wonder freaking Austin was upset. I don't like it to let, I don't, like, Man, who cares if you had a bad childhood? I found myself in a void. You shouldn't be going around killing people. It was not exactly a black void, but a void of nothing. Oh my god. A void of that color. That colorless color that you see when you sleep. The void you encounter yourself in when transitioning from dream to dream when you sleep. It didn't have a color. It didn't have a texture. It was just nothing. There. Nothing. Oh, Austin anything. did not deserve fact, this. I couldn't feel my body at all. Wow. I couldn't feel anything. It felt like none of my senses were working. There was no temperature. Not a single cold or warm feeling. I didn't feel anything at all. Am I... Dead? I couldn't remember. Probably what in the servers. I feel like but this guy's in the minutes, servers. I finally remembered. That bastard! I tried to scream, but I didn't have a voice. Right after I remembered it, voices started to come from every direction. Thousands of voices over. You are my not mind. done yet. The voices were all repeating the same sentence. You are not done yet. Oh gosh. They were saying that sentence in a weird language, one that I didn't recognize. But I understood. The voices were overwhelming my head. It felt like my head so was about to explode. Now. When it finally reached its climax, I screamed and woke up again. My eyes only You're saw ghost. brightness for a second, but when my vision finally adjusted, I found myself in my assigned working computer, and I recognized it by my desktop background. What? I was standing in the Windows taskbar where I saw oh, some of my wow. taskbar shortcuts. Internet Explorer. I really do. Th he really software, did get into like the, the file servers. Explorer, etc. I remembered again what had happened to me. Sat down from the shock. I was sitting down, thinking, for a few minutes, remembering, remembering the horrible things that Henry did to me. Wow. But suddenly, Henry really came out the cut. I saw my hand. I stood up and got a good look at my body. My whole body was sort of transparent. I could still see it, but it was barely visible. And my whole body felt like it was going to break oh apart gosh. at any second. It felt unstable. I was not feeling any sort of pain per se, but it was a weird feeling throughout my body. How am I still alive? I said to myself. And I realized that my voice was finally back. 
It felt like it had been hours since I've truly said a word. Was this a miracle? Some sort of God to give me a second chance? I didn't know. Like, I'm just so sad, like upset, sad, just betrayed, everything, everything. I don't, I don't know. Then I remembered, I remembered the voices in that void. I'm not done yet. You're not done what yet. What does this mean? You need to exact your revenge. Then I remembered Henry's face. His smug, smug fucking look. face. Freaking smug His look. His facade looking down at me. He ruined me. He ruined my world. Freaking jerk. I was livid. There was no way I could go back in time and save myself. There isn't any way I can fix all of this. It was all because of him. You can drag him in there with you. I was you. so mad. I wanted to throw something, but I couldn't. Everything I had worked up to, everything I had achieved, everything I had, it was all gone. All fucking gone. The bastard had taken everything away from me, and now I have nothing. I feel no so one. bad for Austin, though. Ah! I'd scream out. I couldn't hold in my frustrations any longer. Austin did not I deserve this. I started banging on the ground with all I had. I couldn't punch or throw anything, so it's all I could do to let out this feeling to hit something. I'd continue to let out these enraged screams. I could feel tears of anger slowly make their way to the corner of my eyes. You had to take everything away from me. Seriously, Why did you have to for ruin what? Everything for, me? Uh, for what? I'd scream out at nothing. No one could hear me. No one ever would again. I'd feel the tears start to run down, but I was too angered to put any focus into it. I'd continue to bang at the ground for a few minutes, the tear fully flowing down and now hitting the floor as my screaming of anger had just turned into a sob of helplessness. All my anger was just overflowing with sadness. I just wanted to feel alive again. But I know that's never going to happen. I'm just going to be stuck here, forever, alone. Oh I guess there's gosh. nothing else to do than just explore. I'd managed to slowly let out some words as I let out a deep sigh, before wiping my tears and standing up. Then I thought, if I can't do anything to fix the past, I'll make my future better instead. But what future? I'm stuck in a damn computer, I thought. But first, before I figure it out, I gotta do something about my body. It doesn't feel right, I thought. I sat down on the floor again and started thinking for a couple of minutes. I am a ghost, right? A ghost that is possessing this computer, right? I thought. Then if I am a ghost, I can possess stuff, right? I continued. Then that led to a great idea. I made my way to the file explorer icon and clicked on it. Then, the window opened up before me. As if I was using a touch screen, I could move it around with my hands. I wonder if anyone else then, can see this. Like, if you're sitting my files outside the computer, the can you for. see it? Like, the thing's just moving on its own. When I was scrolling, I found a folder. A folder named Reclamation. Ooh. The one folder where I stored the documents I made for the proposition of the game. Are you gonna I send stared it? stared at it for a minute and thought, it really would have been a great game, huh? Then I reluctantly moved the folder to the recycling bin. Deleting it? I didn't want Henry or anyone to steal wow. the idea. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess if that I makes sense. If I wasn't gonna have it, no one would. Like, in the back of my head, I thought he was gonna, like, send it to his, like, his manager and be like, okay, just make sure my, my, my baby can come alive, basically. I, have, I mean, then again, that's your baby you're gonna put in someone else's hands. But you st at the end of the day, I don't know. I feel like you would want to see it actually come true. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel terrible about this whole thing. Like, I was rooting for Etelet, and just to find out that he was a jerk, like, that freaking killed this guy. He's gonna act like, he's gonna act like he was the victim when Austin pulled him away. After that, I continued the search for the file I was looking for. He should have said he deserved it. Then, I found it. The file was named MeChannel underscore Simu underscore version 0.14.exe. Simu? What is that about? This file was a bare-bones PC port of a prototype Me Channel version that I was given some weeks ago. I was oh, not simulation. really familiar with the Mii channel, since it was already pretty close to completion when I was hired. This prototype was one of the first versions of the Mii channel. This version basically only had head shapes and facial expressions. I would have gone for a later version, but I was stuck with the version that I had since I was just given the prototype. I opened the file, and the simulation started. I was oh, that's how he made his character! Menu. I selected my gender, head type, 
average eyes and mouth. I would have also gotten hair, but they didn't have any work done in this development version. So, I had to go with a bald head for now. Baldy! I also wanted a body with the me, but the bodies were not being worked on in this prototype at the time. So I got an idea. In another window on my desktop, I opened the paint app. It was difficult to use, but I made some basic gray and red shapes, and I saved the shapes as PNG pictures. Oh, nice! I studied some 3D modeling at college, so I knew the basics of it. I had the idea that I could make a 3D model of a basic body. I opened a modeling program that I had installed on my desktop and went to work. I ended up making a very rough model of a body. It looked sort of robotic. But it would work for now. Things are just coming together then, slowly but surely. I imported the surely. that I made previously into the model and exported the final result onto my desktop. By this point, I was surprised by how easy using the computer was. I got really used to it really quickly. Huh. But anyways, after that, I opened the exported model file in a model viewer I had installed and got a good look at the model. If I'm a ghost or some sort of spirit, wouldn't that mean I can use this model as a body to sort of keep my soul in form? I asked myself. Huh. Then, with curiosity, I tried to walk head on to the model I created. I suddenly had a weird urge to go right inside it. Then, as if I was a ghost, my hand went right through the Mii's body. It felt like my hand was submerged in water. Ooh, that's weird. Pulled my hand out and chuckled. I turned around my back and walked backwards. <laughs> My body phased right inside the me, and for a moment, it felt like I was completely submerged in water. I was inside the me. I couldn't move for a few seconds, but then, I could. My body felt brand new. My being didn't feel unstable anymore. It finally felt like I had a real body again. I got happy. Felt like I hadn't had a normal body for a long while. While I was moving around in my new body, I noticed something in the distance, far from the desktop. Far in the distance from where I was, there was a hole. A black hole. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna lead to like the the Wii? Maybe? Maybe there's I really wonder how do they get to the how did he get to the Wii? How did like there's so many questions. I didn't still. recognize it as being a part of my desktop. But I feel like this would definitely hole. answer all my questions I have. I walked there to I'm check just it impatient. Out. This hole was just about the perfect size where I could go completely in. But where does it lead then, to? I poked my head through it. What I saw there was it's kind of unbelievable. It's hard to describe, but it was close to an infinite hallway, laying a totally reflective floor, with walls that were filled with multiple holes, signs hanging right above them. What was a sign These say? signs said the names to what I would assume the holes led to. Multiple names of computers and their owners, electronic devices, Wii testing devices, and network devices. Huh. There were a lot of them. That's really I interesting. Even count them. But one name caught my eye security system then we must wreak havoc the hole i stood there for a minute trying to process what i just saw by what i saw i guess that it would lead to other machines at nintendo but how why was this here curiosity took over me and i decided to enter into the hole like what would you guys when do inside, this, if you were in this guy's me, and case, there was indeed you know? a hole that leads back to my computer but i remembered since i was you know Dead. Dead? My computer would be reset and given to a new employee. So I decided that I wouldn't go back to my assigned computer, in case something happened to me while I was inside. Oh, true. Then, I looked below me. The reflective floor showed me. Smiling. My new body. I smiled and continued walking. I headed towards the hole that caught my attention. The security system. When I headed inside, I found myself in a small room. Ooh, wow. I in front of me, and there were dozens, hundreds of uncountable screens. These screens were showing security footage from all the cameras at Nintendo of America, not only the software development department. But one camera, the one at the center of the wall of screens, was only showing static. Ignoring that, I decided to head back into the hole. But then, I had the urge to look back again while I was leaving. Are you going to see Henry? I noticed that the center camera had stopped showing static. Or not. I walked back to see it up close. This camera was now showing footage from the server room. The server room where I was assassinated. Ooh. It was still dark, but I could barely see something that shook me. I could see my real life body. Getting dragged still out? Still tied to a chair. What? Missing its head and legs. And the surrounding walls were completely splashed with blood. 
I could see no trace of Henry. He just left? What? Wait, he didn't even try to dispose of the body or anything? He just straight up left to say, peace out, this body's gonna be discovered and I'm not gonna be the imposter. Like, like what? I turned around. I wanted to vomit, but I couldn't. Most likely because I was not human anymore. Wow. Then, That's crazy. Like, imagine seeing your dead body on the, the screen. freaking screen. That's crazy. After some seconds, suddenly at the end of the hallway, someone opened the door. Uh, it's, I it's the Jonathan's friend. I believe I saw friend. one of my co-workers, Mike. Oh, Mike! He that was his on name. the light, then he saw me. Dang, he that's crazy. He turned around and left the room with his hands covering his mouth. I kind of felt bad for him. I would have done the same. Dang, like he literally finally, assassinated. Assassinated and freaking... I back into the oh hole my god. ...and entered the weird hallway with holes again. Since I didn't want to go back to my assigned computer, I decided to find a good computer where I could stay for the time being while I figure out what to do from here on out. I started walking, and after a few minutes of walking besides countless holes and endless machines, one of them caught my eye. Henry's computer? This hole was named desktop oh. underscore Henry Moore. It was! Uh... Henry, I thought. I was surprised to see it there. I forgot he obviously would have had a desktop here. Go and wreak havoc. Wreak havoc on his computer. His That's desktop. what I would do. When I came out of the hole, I found myself in an environment similar to where I first woke up. But it was kind of basic. He's a basic boy! Henry had close to no taskbar icons and the default Windows background. I was going to say something but else, but matter. you know, that's not appropriate. I didn't see anything that pointed to Henry using his computer at the moment. So I started walking from the hole where I came from. And, you know, because I don't cuss. I found the file explorer shortcut and proceeded to open it. The first thing that came to mind when doing that was to look for reclamation. I thought there might have been a chance that he successfully stole the concept for some reason. But I luckily didn't find anything. Good, he doesn't deserve it. Leave. But then, after that, I had a bright idea. What if I can mess with his work? I started looking for Nice, just take everything and start deleting it. I couldn't find anything too weird, but I proceeded to erase the three most recent ones. After they got erased, I chuckled. <laughs> he wanted to ruin the future yes. was so close to achieving. And for what? Himself? How fucking selfish. Terrible. I'm gonna make him get a taste of his own medicine. Good, you should. Him. I support this. I continued looking around his documents and deleting things, but I tried to not make it too obvious. How do you make it After too some obvious? minutes of doing that, I decided it would be enough for today and left. Nice, nice. We're gonna return tomorrow. To return back tomorrow. Thought, if this hole is on the desktop, does it mean that this area is off screen? I figured out that this area would not be visible for the user using the computer. Until they so get two screens. Safe to stay here. I knew that just messing with Henry's work for the rest of my post life wouldn't get me anywhere. But then. But it'll be thought, satisfying for now, you know. What if I help Nintendo? I was never the type to like the idea of helping people, but if I was going to be stuck at Nintendo forever, I might as well do something good with my afterlife. Oh, how would you do that though? And so it was. For a few weeks I went around many machines, fixing errors, fixing development huh. codes, adding content. He's awesome! If anything with the Wii what? was wrong, I would fix it. I saw in some reports by the district manager, Todd, that some people were talking about a mysterious ghost that was helping with development. And they called me the Helping Vessel. Aww. I found it kind of funny that they thought of me as an urban legend. I like Austin. At but first right I thought he was a villain, report, but I like this I guy. Thought, Wait, I was assassinated <laughs> at Nintendo. I had forgotten to ever check up on what had happened to my last body. True? Since I was already at Todd's computer, I might as well figure out while I was there. I started looking at the reports that were made some dates after I died. But I could not find anything. The only report that I could find was one that said I had quit. I was surprised. Wow, Why? they covered the whole thing Why up. Why they lie about this? They Not covered me. the whole thing up. Then it struck me. The Nintendo Wii, Nintendo's biggest console to date, was just a few weeks away from release. Wow. If, for some reason, word got out that someone was assassinated inside their headquarters, it would start a controversy. Then the launch of the console would be nothing but a joke. Wow. It made so much sense, but still. No, that sucks. I wow. I was surprised that they would I mean, do it such a makes sense, but still, that sucks. Wow. Then, I continued browsing through the reports made by the manager, and then one caught my eye. This report was dated somewhere before I got hired. In short, this report said, 
Our team has found a set of mysterious creepy rooms hidden within the files of the Me Channel. We are too late in production of the week to remove it, but we are trying our best to find the culprits of this atrocious addition. So far, we have only found what seems to be a hospital hallway and a functional electric chair room. Again, we are sorry for any inconveniences. What? Wait! How do you find that? How do you find that? How do you just find that in the weed chair? It's like, oh, we found all these mysteriously creepy rooms hidden in the fight. Who put that there? What do you mean we just found it there? And then... <laughs> And then we're, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Like, are you getting rid of it? Like, I don't... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Weird, I thought. Why would someone add something like that? I concluded. Like, we After just that, find these mysterious rooms. What we're gonna keep it in? With my journey to help the Wii's launch. He's nice. Austin is nice. Until one day, the day before the Wii's launch. I was in the security camera room looking around the workspace. I liked looking back at the headquarters sometimes because I sort of missed being human. Who would have thought I would miss being human? Yeah, because you don't like I humans. So much. Yeah. When looking at the cameras, I thought, how did Henry turn off the cameras? It was obvious he was not part of the security department, so... That is a good question. I thought for a second, if he had any collaborators... But that thought was interrupted by something I saw in the camera. Well, did he have someone? I saw Henry. I had not seen that good for nothing in a while. Freaking jerk. Not since he killed me. That bastard, I mumbled. I was not happy to see him. Who would be? But then I saw him take one Wii from one of the Wii piles that we had ready to ship. Then he entered one of the back rooms with it. This intrigued me with curiosity, however, because <laughs> I wondered exactly what he was planning on doing. We already know what's about to happen! Of me, and it was for the worst. I decided to then make my way towards the hole where I came from. Then I looked for the specific Wii Henry was using, and entered inside. I figured that at first, Henry was planning on playing around with the console to experiment with the code. I wasn't, however, going to let that slide. Good. The taste of karma would be perfect to serve him but the timing of this will have to be perfect. Yes. Wouldn't it be fun to mess around and spy him for all the things that he's done to me? Get him. I'd personally say it's justified. It is justified, I can notice my from opinion. first glance Henry, who finished setting up the console and was apparently drinking out of a bottle of beer during the process. Was he an alcoholic? Knew that son of a bitch couldn't have any redeeming qualities to him. As I was examining his actions, I realized that it would be blatantly obvious that I was watching the scene and it would have been a stupid decision if I decided to move right to the screen, so I stayed back. However, something was off. What was off? Was it not you who put him in there? I thought I really thought it was Austin that put him in the Wii. I looked back and We're saw Henry who was focused on opening up the Me channel. He pressed on the selection to create a new me avatar. He gave the selected me the male gender role and seemingly disturbing like features from then on out. <laughs> Although, they reminded me of my own body. That's the, the weirdest me I've ever seen. Its eyes completely widened and enlarged, a cartoon-like grin and a small nose. Afterwards, the process of the me's appearance was done. Then Henry typed in a name. Edeled. I could feel myself raising an eyebrow at this. Almost literally, but I couldn't do much. Yeah, why he decided to name him Edelid? Backwards? Like Quite of all an things. Odd choice if I say so myself. It is and an odd choice. It honestly weirded me out. I had a really off-putting feeling, and I thought that this was enough. I should probably get out of here before he notices me. I was midway through the process of getting out of there until I heard something. <laughs> I wish I was a wee. I've always wanted to be a me. Ah. Did that that get, was coming from the, That got his, his brain turning. What the, the hell was he talking about? Is he that drunk? I wanted to see if he was going to do something stupid, so I stayed for a couple more seconds. But then, he looked at his right and stood up. I finally decided that it was enough and left. While I was halfway back into the hole from where I came from, I suddenly got electrocuted. I felt the electricity go completely oh, through so my body. Oh, so this has nothing to do. It felt like my whole body was on fire. I felt myself moving and shaking in pain. And that went on for a couple of seconds. It all felt like my soul was leaving my body. Oh, this has nothing to do but with him. He didn't ha he didn't want him in there. Something entered my non-existing ears. What? 
I heard Henry screaming. Then the shock finally stopped. I fell on the floor and felt very tired. But only one thought came to my mind. Was he also being electrocuted? Wow. I then, thought I thought Austin put finally, him in there. I guess it was I just passed out. It was just it actually was just a coincidence. And that's the end of part one. Oh my gosh, guys. Already, already uh, I can hear a lot of you guys saying in the comments, Nina, we told you so the excellent guy could not be trusted. And I'm just honestly upset that it took freaking two hours for them to be like, oh yeah, by the way. Like, okay, I understand. Storytelling, storytelling, right? But I'm so upset. I was on this guy's I was on this guy's side for two hours, guys. Just for them to drop the bomb that he went and killed this. He killed Austin! Because he was jealous of him. Oh my gosh, I can't. I really can't with this guy. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, a lot of you guys already watched this before. I'm going to read these comments when I'm done with the whole entire series, by the way. But definitely let me know what you guys think. Honestly, it just it's, it's just... Ugh. <laughs> like, I'm honestly so frustrated upset, like, at Edelin right now, or Henry, or whoever. I just can't- I, I don't know what's gonna happen from here on in. I guess maybe it's gonna end when Kyle finds it, or when Sam, or- I don't know. Maybe she's gonna tell a story from Austin's point of view. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to check out my channel and tip it to the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Nina! Oh.